Does in the mornings. I know, right? What is Miss Suffering's morning routine? <laughs> <laughs> 
Alert! Alert! Code name detected. Miss Suffering's morning routine. Now playing 30-minute movie of Miss Suffering's sad morning routine. Alert! Alert! Code name detected. What? Miss Suffering's Wait, morning no. routine. Hey, now playing 30-minute movie of Miss Suffering's sad morning routine. The first thing I do in the mornings is sit in bed and contemplate my life. Contemplate all my life choices. I then relax a little bit. I've always heard relaxing in the morning will help make your day go better. It's never worked for me. I then get out of bed, roll onto the floor, and then contemplate life some more. I have a pet plant. Everyone knows when you talk to your plant, it helps it grow more. You're a dirty, worthless being. You don't even know what you want in life. You, I mean, what do you make? You make nothing. You're literally just green leaves. You don't even make roses. In fact, you don't even make enough in your salary. In fact, your plant mother told you to go to plant college, and then you went and took plant teaching as your major, and then you went to your plant job, and you hate your plant job! I then feed the crush that dumped me in first grade. That was over 40 years ago! Help me! I then change out of my night clothes and change into my exercise clothes, because exercising is important. Here's the secret to my snatched body. Prancer size. I then change out of my exercise clothes into my work clothes, cause work is important. Then comes the hardest part of my day, when I have to face myself in the mirror, when I wash my face. I then think about all the times I wanted to quit my job, how I really hate kids and I am a teacher for annoying brats, how I have to go back there every day and teach things that I don't even care about, like two plus two, and how my mother wished that I became a lawyer instead and how I'm falling in debt and I can't pay my student loans and how this salary is not gonna cut it for me. Yo, this morning routine is whack. It's sad. We need to make this juicy, y'all. Yeah, let's switch it up. First, let's change her uh, boring wardrobe. What? I hate orange. Too bad. Then she changed her hair. What? Pink. What? Ah! Then she went to Chuck E. Cheese. Ew, not Chuck E. Cheese, that's disgusting. She went to Pizza Hut. Sasha, that's even worse. All right, what do you suggest? Wait, wait. How about I go home and make a fantastic dinner by myself for a lonesome me? Oh, with your date. What? Say hello to Fred. Fred? She went home to play video games. What? Video games? That's just a guy thing. No, she went to a fashion show. Yeah, work it, Miss Suffering. Work it. Work it. Then she decided to start a dog walking business. Isn't this so much fun? No! Then, uh, uh, she went to school and graded all of our papers A++. Now you know that's not gonna happen. <sighs> I know. Then she went to space! But she had the magic ability to breathe in space! <sighs> She finally smiled! Smile! Come on! Smile! With teeth? Yeah, that's it! Don't be shy! Come on, come on. like a little bit wider! Some more! Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah you, you should uh, help yourself, yeah, like that. Yeah, smile! Come on! You can, you can, that's a half smile! Smile, come on! Come on! Just, just, you can do it! Come smile! On. Come on, you, yeah, that's yes, it! Yes! You, you click, yeah, yes! Smile! Smile! Yeah, just, uh, uh, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Kids, you little rugrats, I can't teach class today. Hooray! I mean, why? What's the matter? It's mommy. I have to take care of her. She sneezed twice today. Twice! Her allergies are acting up. I have to take care of her. Well, of course you're gonna take care of your mother. Mother? Who said anything about my mother? My mother's fine. She's coming back from her honeymoon from her seventh husband. Elizabeth Taylor she is. Huh? Huh? I meant mommy as in my cat. <coughs> I named her that after she's been with me through thick and thin. She's the one who's comforted me when I was sad. The one who brought me birthday presents every year when my mother forgot to. I still have all the mice in a box under my bed. Well, no school. Yes! Not so fast. Read the board. New. Teacher, you're having a substitute today. 
Now, they're not gonna be here until about an hour, so I advise you to either wait here or wait here for an hour, doing nothing, sitting down, not even on your phone, being bored, absolutely bored out of your mind. Okay, don't worry, we'll just stay here and be bored and just live here, you know? Live here? I'm not staying, shh. Listen, we're not staying here. We're gonna go out there, play video games, do whatever we want, and we'll just set a timer to remind us to come back here in an hour. Okay. So, <laughs> you just set the timer. Okay. Yeah, we're staying here. We're staying here. Wait, was it one hour, two hours? <clears throat> Four hours? Ten hours? Hold up. Were we supposed to be somewhere now? No. Like a meeting or something? No. Huh. Like I feel like something, like an alarm's supposed to go off right now. Yeah. Wait. Let's see the time on this gamepad. Shiloh! What? Shiloh, we have like five minutes to get to class or else you will freak out. Or he, I don't know who the new teacher is. I thought we didn't have school! But what do you mean? I told you to set an alarm! Hmm. I conveniently forgot. Ah! <laughs> who are you? Uh, we need to get up there. Can you move? That's it! Come on, you wait, kid! Yeah, we're gonna be late! A hug. I give free hugs. I want to give hugs. Do you want a hug? Who wants a hug? Who wants a hug? Um, there's a bird out there. Do you want to go hug it? Little birdie wants a hug. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs affection and love. And I think you would have a nice little hug. Must give little birdie a hug. Must give little birdie a hug. Now hugging the little birdie. Too much hugs. Five, four, three, two, one. We're actually late now. Why didn't we go when we had the time? Oh, I just wanted to sit here and count the seconds ticking by and be anxious about it. Man, so short. Ha ha ha. Baldy, what are you doing here? I'd run if I were you, ha. Huh? Shiloh, Shasha. Why weren't you at my class? I hate when students are late. Why were you late to class? Why? Why? Why were you late to class? Why were you late? Why? 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 I want more hugs. <gasps> Why? Why? <laughs> Hug. I can't believe they saved us. So is class still in session? When you're at Baldy School, school's always in session. Ha uh ha. -huh. High five. High five. No. <laughs> Shiloh, Canadian water is just so good, bruh. Oh yeah. Want to taste some? Um, sure, I guess. That's amazing! Best water in town. What was that? It can't be! Why do we always have such bad luck? Maybe 
if we're really quiet, and we go out the back door, she won't notice that we're here. <gasps> How'd you get in? I went in through the back door. I thought we left you a few weeks ago. Funny, that's what my ex said six years ago when I went to his house to pick up the sad portrait of a clown that I gave him for Christmas. What are you doing here? Moi, I've come here to tutor you. Did you think you could run away from the queen of education? Uh, tutor? What's tutoring? Yeah. In home learning. Alright, Sasha, you're first. Now I want you to write a poem on why men stink. You must include these three intense lines. One, their lack of commitment. Two, their reluctance to settle down. And three, the importance of checking their cell phone every hour on the hour clock work. Well, I was thinking of writing a report about Canadian water. I already started on the first paragraph. Why men stink. I worked hours on this! Uh, Miss Suffering, I need help with math. Let me see. This is easy. Look, seven minus two times three is one. So how'd you get that? Well, seven wanted two, but two left seven to be with three, which made a happy six. And while seven was at six, he left one all by herself to cry over her dysfunctional equation. So is one okay? One is in survival mode, single and happy. How's the poem coming along? Going along very well. Do you want to hear it? Oh, Canada's water, can you see? You taste very clean. And you're better than caffeine. I'll drink you at No, 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 no. First of all, this is not what I told you to write. Wait, wait. I didn't even get to your no. rap part. Why men are stinky, lousy losers that don't Deserve me! <laughs> not now, Sasha! Not now, Shiloh, I'm trying to piece my work together! What are you doing? We gotta get out of here! How? how? I don't understand! I don't know! She's coming! She's coming! Come under the table! Under the table! Come on! Where are you? It's lunchtime! I'm gonna show you what I used to make my ex. Meatloaf. Shiloh, I just found out Miss Suffering broke up with her ex last month. How do you know? Shut up to my ex! You really weren't the best! You're the most horrible lizard I met! Uh, I stole her phone. Oh, and now when she's upset, she casts all of her bitterness on us! Huh. You know what? I got an idea, Shiloh. I know how to solve this. Alright, Shiloh, I got a plan. Alright. Alright. It's gonna happen any minute now. Just wait. Nah! I'm being abducted by aliens! Get away from me! That's your plan? Hi, I'm Chad, the hired boyfriend for the day. That was my plan. No! Miss Suffering! No! I'm sorry! Oh, you cruel world! We have to do something, Shiloh! We can't be responsible for Miss Suffering's disappearance! Well, what should we do? Call the Popo! Get the FBI! Call FedEx! After lunch? After lunch. Sasha! <sighs> guess what I got in the mail today? What? A letter! From who? I don't know, open it. No, let me open it. Let me open it. It's from Miss Suffering. <gasps> Dear Shiloh and Shasha, I'm sorry I left on bad terms, but I'm doing well now. I'm dating an alien named Quasimomo. He doesn't stink. She's dating now. What? I forgive you for not saving me from the aliens. In return, I'm sending you a clone of myself from space to tutor you. Don't worry. Emotions won't get in the way of her work. She has no feelings. Ah. Uh, uh. Wait. She's saying us another tutor. Yeah. Ha! 
<laughs> Since you're the clone, I can do whatever I want. I am not the clone. What? That letter was sent months ago. In between that time, my boyfriend left me for the clone and then sent me down here, back on Earth. Uh, well, um... Time for math. Get your textbooks. High five.